All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to um, Yoga for Love's online healing arts center. And I'm Jamie Ray. I'll be teaching Explore the Body. And we're doing heart openings today. So we did that on Tuesday. So today will be a little bit deeper dive. Um, some of the same and, and then adding to it. Um, so I teach every Tuesday and Thursday at 11, 11. So the Tuesday and Thursday, they're generally the same, uh, within the same week, we'll be teaching the same class, but the Thursday will be, um, a deeper dive into it. So they go hand in hand. So if you want to join for both, that would be great. Just helps you dive deeper into the practice. And... I think we're good here so let's let us begin um, today you'll need your large ball your noodle ball and a strap so we're gonna begin we're gonna do a little bit of glute opening just because we always need to do just a tad bit of glute opening a little bit of so coffee before we start ah nectar of the gods. All right. Normally I would suggest not having your phone on hand, but maybe this, this is what it is. I do have to stay slightly in communication. All right, so we're going to start first with the large ball. And we're going to take it into the right butt cheek. Boom control of other people and the outer world. We have no control. So let that go a little bit and release the control. We have more freedom within the heart space. Okay. It also allows us to speak our truths a bit clearer because the glutes are directly connected to the jaw and the vocalization. So ha sitting on that ball it is sinking in we're going into that space in between the sacrum and the trochanter so it's a nice little divot right there we're working along along the edge of the sacrum never on bone but you can go to the edge of the bone right where the muscles attach ha find any place even a little bit more intense. Ha. Ha. A little bit more tender vitals. Your pause. Let's take nice deep breaths. Really taking the breath <sighs> right into that space. <sighs> Allowing it to let go. I definitely encourage movement in the parts of the body while doing so. Making sure you're not. When you're surrendering here, you're not taking the tension up into the neck and shoulders or some other space. Just kind of inching your way down or up, whichever way you feel guided, truly. Listen to the body. The body always knows. Making your way down towards the sits bone. So bone, right? The face of the butt, right? If you don't know. That knobby part. Bottom of your glute, right? The top portion of the leg. When you sit in the floor, that's the part that's pressing in from here. Oh. Ah. Vocalizations are always good. Loud breaths. Ah. Moaning, yelling, screaming, <laughs> crying. <laughs> However, it comes out. Just don't hold it back. Ah. Big sighs. We're not going to spend too much time here because this isn't the focus. 
steps. Making your way to the edge of the choke canter. Oh. As I come over to the side, notice I like to dip the knee just a bit, right? Get a little bit closer to the side seam, making my way up, back around the stroke canter. So we come down here and then we're coming back up and around. Over just a tad into the side space. Wow. Oh. Oh. If this is too much on your arms, you can lie down and you can work it from this angle. It's not quite as intense, um, but it can be done just in case the arms are feeling it, it's a little weak or, or it's too much. All right, we're gonna switch. Switch sides here, I'm just gonna turn around. Visual pain. Again, right into the right into that left glute. Ha, taking the left ankle to the right knee. Ha. 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 You may find one is more sensitive or tender than the other. In the jaw of the neck you might notice as you move through here, you start to feel the tension up in here. Down along that safe room. Down to the sits bone. Making our way back up around that short canter, looking just a little bit to the side. The knee. Oh. <laughs> Inner world. This is where we hold the, the self control, not the willpower self control, but like controlling ourselves. Um, maybe holding back or controlling how we show up in the world or maybe how we might be perceived by someone. Um, and also I've been working in the garden, so <laughs> lots of physical activity. There's also that. Ah. Now, making our way up towards the sun. Oh, oh, oh. The breathing. 
off. Sometimes I like to extend the leg out. I just got a little bit of the side. This one especially needs it today for myself. Ha. Ha. Okay, almost done. Ah, oh, my spots need attention. Ah, oh, all right, we're gonna just remove the ball. Hey, come on, Mike, just check in. Oh, yes, that feels better already. And we're gonna grab our noodle ball, and then we're gonna work through the back space and the body, we're creating just a little bit of a space right in the middle between the two center balls. So the spine, we're placing that in the low back, just above the pelvis, into those QLs, and we're lying back. Now you can try to position yourself, pressing into the heels, get it nice and comfortable. Again, we're not directly on any bone, make sure it's not on the spine or directly on the pelvis itself. And we're lying back. Whew. Take a moment to allow the muscle to come into acceptance. Wow, we're letting the sacrum start to drop down towards the earth. Because we're working on the heart space, we're gonna be really mindful of this upper half not to neglect the lower half. Always keep the sacrum in mind and in integrity. So we're dropping these ribs, just trying to drop them down towards the earth, making sure we're not you know, sticking these ribs out, overcompensating. Right? We're trying to oh, elongate the neck, dropping the shoulders down towards the earth. Oh. Now as this begins to sink in, you can begin to wiggle a bit. So you can rock the knees a bit side to side. Finding those spots, those knots, those places of held tension. And do it all the way to the side. And as that begins to open up, we're just kind of sliding the butt down just a bit, allowing the balls to roll up along the spine. Make your way up. Checking out the ribs. The spine and the balance between staying in integrity with the ribs, but also allowing some free movement of the body. We don't want to be stiff. We kind of want to become one with the ball movement, right? Allowing it to come in into the space, release the space, bring our awareness into those tension spots we've been not paying attention to. I like to do a little up and down as well as the side to side. It's just really going in there, massaging those QLs and the erectors. We're starting to get up towards the base of the ribs. As I start to get up a little bit higher, I like to pull the knees oh, up and in towards the chest. You might find 
different levels will have different intensities. So just up slightly versus pulling all the way in. Find your happy place. Begin with the ribs. <sighs> Keep that breath moving. Really breathing into those tight spaces. Lots of tension right here. Ah, as it's starting to let go, I'm able to lengthen the spine a bit, lengthen the, the neck, dropping the ribs. Oh. Just hanging out here for a moment. Ah. Oh. All right, we're rolling up a bit more. You can also just lift up and adjust the balls. Oh, here comes the teeter-totter spot, right? Keep the ribs down, the tail comes up. Put the tail down, the ribs come up. So we're finding this balance. We press into the heels. As you lower it Control your pressure. <sighs> Do encourage the arms up and overhead because we are opening this heart space. The arms are the extensions of the heart. <sighs> Ooh. Giving the side space of these ribs, they can be a bit tender. Now don't jam them in, just be gentle. Don't need to break anything. <laughs> We're starting to get up into this heart area. I like to do a little pull on the spine, like on the neck. So as I press the heart space down and lift the neck up, it elongates that upper back over the balls. Oftentimes you get a little bit of an adjustment through the spine. I love that myself. Ha. Ah. Ah. As I get in here, I also like to take pressing the heels, lifting the butt, and I'm just rolling through this heart space. Ah. Letting the balls massage the upper back. Ah. This might be a little intense for some of you. It is not required. Just working a bit, getting those balls up and in along those scapulas into those rhomboids. Oh, it feels so good. You pull the elbows in towards each other as you're in those rhomboids. Helps open up the back space. So the balls can get really deep in there. You can take your weight slightly to one side or the other. So by 
press. If I lift up my right shoulder just slightly, I'll get more pressure along that left scapula and vice versa. You can really get into those knots. Because I know not a lot of us have been seeing on massage therapists, right? <laughs> Ah. Unless you're living with them and in quarantine. Ah. All right, we're making our way up. Oh, there's one more pop. Yes. Ah. All right, so right in here as we start to come up over the edge of the scapula. You could start to get into this terries, the space right on the back side of the armpit. Hidden treasures, I'm telling you, hidden treasures. So if you take the arm up and the overhead, you can plant the elbow and you can roll to the side and you just kind of find that right happy place. Where the ball sinks into that teres, just moving around a bit. Ah, oh, see if we can find it. Nailed it. Especially if you catch that end ball. Oh yes. It's all the hoeing I've been doing, ripping up the earth for the garden. Come on. This is also where we hold um, like shame uh, and guilt. So they hide back there. Right? Oh. You're gonna get both sides. Just move gently through this space. You don't have to, don't be rough on it. All right, love yourself. Gotta love it. Oh, I love the pain. Love it. I love so much in the body. If you could just slightly roll back and forth. A little control of pressure. And slightly up or down. Ha. Huh. Moving the arm a bit, useful. Oh, yes. Snap, crackle, pop. All right, we get to the other side. Just rolling over this way. Again, you might notice one more than the other. The left is definitely the worst. That as you complete that, we're just coming towards the tops of the shoulders here. 
the balls are just the very top, uh, just under the, um, <laughs> the traps, right? So we're going to press into the heels. Pressing into the heels, ha. Huh. Those two center balls sink in to the tops of the shoulders. You can inch your way around. Sometimes I actually like to take the end balls and bring them forward so it creates a little bit of a U, right? So this is a bit like U shape like this. And so these actually get out of the way, but also provide support while the two center balls are really working the top portion of those shoulders. So as you sink in, ha, lifting up, now there's that, that second balls from the center can go into those levator scaps, tops of the traps. Ah. Now everybody that has been working from home, that's been sitting on their laptops or their phones, this area right here, leaning forward doing this, here you go. Ah, this is just at the base of the neck, tops of the shoulders, right in that space on each side of the spine. Ah. 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 Just allowing gravity to press your weight into the balls. And just any free movement. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When you're done, just grab the end of your noodle ball. Oh, take a moment to just be. Find our strap. <clears throat> so find your strap. <sighs> One second. Did anybody else need in a haircut? Jeez. It's time. Tis time. All right. Finding your strap. Basically, you, you want enough space that you can, you know, get your arms out. We're gonna take, we're gonna stretch the, the shoulders with this. So your length will depend on how wide your shoulder span is, right? Before you can take it up and overhead. All right, so taking the strap, we're gonna start close in because we can inch our way out. It's a lot easier to inch your way out than try to climb your way back in. So starting in close, we're gonna check in. We're really sitting into those sits bones, getting nice and grounded, planting into the earth, pulling those ribs up and in, or taking the shoulders back, we're kind of squeezing the scapulas in towards one another along the spine, like you're zipping up the spine. The erectors are engaged nice and strong, right? We're centered. Shoulders are back, ribs are up and in. Now we're trying to keep this integrity here as we take our strap, we begin to take our arms up and overhead. Watch these shoulders, they're gonna to wanna to try to go up like this, 
we're going to try to keep them down and back. Also, the ribs are going to want to flip out, right, to compensate. We're going to try to keep those in integrity. Ribs down, shoulders back, taking the strap into your hands. You can begin to take your arms up and overhead, keeping the breath moving. And we're moving slow. We're going to continue to keep those ribs down. Continue to keep those scapulas pulling in towards one another in the back. Now, this is where you may need to slide open, right? We're taking those arms up and over, back behind us. Let's take our strap. <laughs> it's in front of me. Let's get that out of the way. <sighs> All right. Ribs are down. Shoulders in. We're back. Ha. Oh. Taking those up and over and around. Now you may be all the way out here to do it. That's okay. Be wherever you are. Ha. Ha. Just keep that integrity, right? Now, if you find you can do it and you can go over it one more time, go in just a little bit closer. See how close you can get the hands and still maintain that integrity. That really tight spot, wherever that may be for you, try to hold it right in there. Get that stretch. Oh, feel those pecs opening up. Keep those ribs down. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Chin a little bit, one more time. Ooh. Ah, there's the spot for me, right there. Ah, ah, ah. All right. Ah. Do some shoulder rolls. Ah. Ah. Forward. Ah. Move that way. Ah. Move that head and neck. Ah. Already getting some freedom. Ah. Now, let's go for the we're going to stretch and open these shoulders, this heart space, a little bit more. So coming seated, you're going to plant your feet. Ah, this is a bit like torture, but not. <laughs> so we're going to bring this left arm, inhale it up, exhale, bringing it up and behind the back. Your palm is facing out, so the top of your hand is up against your back. You may be here, that is fine. You may be here. You may be higher than that. Wherever you can get your hand, just try to bring it up as high as you can. Bringing that shoulder back. Now you're supporting yourself with your opposite hand. And we're gonna lie back over this. So go slightly to the right. So if you've got your left arm behind you, you're gonna go to the right elbow. And you're going to start to sink down, you're slightly on the right side, and then you're going to begin to roll back. Ha. Ha. Now, if this is in too intense for you, once you roll back, you can slide the hand down a little bit along the back. So if it's too much, you can just bring the hand down just slightly and lie back. All right, so right here, the work is surrender. Really breathing into the shoulder. Use your right hand to just give gentle encouragement. We're not being brutal, we're being very loving. We're just some suggestive. <sighs> Stroking along that pack, just a little bit of pressure on the top of the shoulder, just encouraging, just enough to like remind it. If 
you feel a little bit of tension on the back side and that carries where we worked a bit earlier. You can give it a little bit of loving massage, press into that spot, right? You find the, the achy spot. Just put a little pressure on it with your fingertip and breathe into it. Might come down the deltoid a little bit. Just, again, this gentle encouragement. More free course. You might find that that peck attachment right there on the inside of that shoulder, right where the peck comes and attaches. You might find a bit of a lot right there, a lot of tension. Again, taking the fingertip, just pressing into it, just, just enough. Nice deep breath. Move the head and neck around. So starts to end, we're going to be very, very careful here. We're going to roll to our right side, but just allow this arm to just be, don't try to lift the arm. So we're rolling over to the right very carefully. Now gently just allow the arm to drop down and rest. Fingers. Let the blood flow come back in. And slowly start to move the arm. Nothing drastic. Just lie back onto your back. Let the arm rest. No movement, just or no lifting it, you know. Gentle movement. Slight rotations, finger movements. Ah. 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 You can find your rotation here. You can plant the elbow a bit and just check your rotation. Go another slide to do. Oh, but so much more open already. So I'm going to flip sides for visual aid. Ah, I can already tell this shoulder is further back than this one. If you were if you were in the same room, you can probably tell. You may notice it on your own. Let's see if you can tell. This one is more forward. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Inhale. And we're taking it up the spine on the back side, back of the back of the hand, facing the back, palm out. Supporting yourself. 
with the left arm, coming down to the elbow, down to the shoulder, and then gently rolling back. Again, if this is too much for you, lower the hand just a tad and roll back. <sighs> Again, just surrender here for a moment. Paw. Paw. Just gently. It's just it's a really loving touch. It's not nothing brutal. Just caressing. Just gentle encouragement. It responds. It starts to let go. It starts to realize it's safe. Huh. You may feel something begin to let go on the back side. Huh. The elbow starts to drop in and release. Surrender starts to come. Now you're just gently finding some loving assistance. Any place on the backside or wherever you might be feeling the tension, maybe calling, hucking. Just give it a little bit of gentle massage. If it's a knot or a really intense spot, just apply a little bit of pressure with the fingertip. Breathe into it. Right along the edge of that, the shoulder ball there, right where the pec comes in. Generally, a lot of tension right there. Just you come across right across the pec. Those fingertips as they hit the shoulder, boom, right there. That's that pec attachment. Right there. Right on the inside of that shoulder ball. Pause. Huh. Apply just a little bit of pressure. Oh. I'd like to take my knees just slightly in the direction of, but that might be too intense for some. I don't feel like it hurts too much. If it's, you can also take them the other way to release a little bit of pressure. Okay. So, taking the knees the direction of the shoulder you're working on intensifies, taking them in the opposite direction lessens. Okay. So, you're controlling your pressure. Ah. Again, move the head and neck, look the opposite way. Get some time here. And as this begins to end for you, again, we're just gently, gently rolling over to the left side. Don't activate this arm. Just oh, roll over to the left. Just let the arm hang. Paw. Start to wiggle the fingers. Start to drop the wrist, the hand down the spine a bit. Beginning to straighten in the elbow. Paw. Just very gently. As it starts to wake up. Roll back to your back. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 
come out. Just let it rest. Again, just slow movements. We're not lifting the arm, just letting it rest. Small movements of rotation. Starts to come back. Begin to lift the forearm. Checking that range of motion. So it reaches that point. Ah, oh yeah. Okay. Now coming up. So we're gonna come to all fours. Let me take a moment. Ah, another shoulder rotation. Ah. Pretty good with the arms. Oh. 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 All right. Coming to all fours. We're just going to take some time. We're going to oh, reaching out, walking the fingertips out. We're going to take the tail back towards our heels, child's pose, but we're really keeping these arms stretched, right, as the tail is coming this way. So we're going two directions. You grip your mat oh, as you slide back. Really press those ribs down into your thighs. All right, so we're going to begin to walk the fingertips over. You can cross. You're keeping this left hip back as you walk the arms over to the right. You're reaching out as far as you can, out away from you, while you're also walking over to the side. You're really taking this left arm as far out and over as possible. Keeping this left hip back. Huh. So we're getting a nice side seam opening. Huh. 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 Leave that head and neck. I like to dip the shoulder down a bit. Oh. Like I'm trying to take my armpit towards the earth. Oh. Oh. Now we're going to go the opposite direction. We're going to come back to center. We're going to pause here in the center. Oh. Take one more. You're going to lift up slightly, reach the arms out, and then kind of gripping your mat. Oh. Again, taking the buttocks down towards the heels, pressing those ribs into the thighs. Oh. Pressing the palms into the earth while reaching forward. Oh. Oh. A little bit of wiggle, like I'm trying to reach each armpit down towards the earth. All right, now walking over to the left this time, really being mindful, keeping that right butt, that right glute down towards the heel as we're walking this right arm over to the left. Oh, really getting into that side seam. Oh. Oh. So right here, I'm like I'm lifting the right rib and I'm dropping the right rib. Armpit going down towards the earth. And so it's just a little bit of free movement while reaching in and extending out and keeping that tail down. Oh, 
So it's not stiff, we're just opening up that space. You may feel it in the side seam, all through the armpit, the deltoid, the tops of the shoulders, that teres. Cool. Oh, yes. All right. Going back one more time. Coming back to center. Taking a moment. We're going to, again, walk the fingers forward, lifting the butt slightly, and then sliding back. Oh. And just allow the elbows to drop to the earth. Taking a moment here. Huh. All right. Yes. All right, we're going to come back to all fours. We're going to do a, just a quick warm up down the. Oh, I'm seeing sparklies. <laughs> Yay! All right, so hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're just going to do a slight warm up just to open up the backs of the legs. We are going to be mindful of this upper half a bit. We'll repeat this with more concentration on this area. But we're going to take the uh, eyes and the elbows forward. We're going to bring those ribs up and in, and we're dropping that head and neck. So toes are turned under. Nice deep breath in, pressing into the toes, lifting the knees, and we're taking the hips back. So keeping those ribs in and trying to keep those elbows forward. Ha! Huh. We're just going to bicycle a bit because, again, this is just warming up, but noticing how that felt in the body on the upper half coming into it. So just take a moment to pre-move in your down dog, pressing into the heels, lifting the toes, switching sides, just opening up the backs of the legs. All right, when you're done, we're coming back to center. Take a moment to shake the arms out. All right, coming back to all fours, really spreading this L of the, th uh, the thumb and the forefinger, really opening that up. We want, when the hands are planted, uh, we want the thumbs facing one another. Nice finger spread wide, really firm, solid foundation here because we're working on this upper half, right? All right, so we're taking the eyes and the elbows forward again. So, right? So it's like this. All right. Now, we're getting this tail nice and long, pulling these ribs up and in. Now we're squeezing those scapulas. Remember how we did earlier? with the strap, squeezing those scapulas in and towards one another. This is a combination lock here, right? Scapulas are turned in, are pushing in, ribs are up and in, tail is long. Oh, arms are planted firmly, eyes facing forward. All right, we're gonna to try to keep this integrity. Drop that head and neck. We're gonna move really slowly, the point is not to necessarily getting all the way into the down dog, keeping this integrity here, okay? Nice deep breath in, checking in with all the things, pressing into the toes. Now we're lifting these knees up. We're not going all the way back. We're taking those ribs, keeping those eyes up, eyes and the elbows, taking the ribs towards the knees. Drop that head and neck. Ha, ha. You may only be able to get to here. You may be able to push all the way. Ha, 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 ha. 
we're going to come back down. We're going to do that one more time. Notice how that fuels in this upper body. Whew. Strength, right? Strength. Find those places that it doesn't want to move. Ah. Tension in the shoulder that doesn't allow you to keep the elbow forward. Combination lock. Here we go. Hands really planted. Eyes the elbows forward. Drop the head and neck. Oh, zip up that spine. Scapula's in. Ribs up. Drop the head and neck. Nice deep breath in. Pressing into the toes. Bringing the ribs towards the knees. Really pressing into those palms. Really trying to keep the, palm, the eyes and the elbows up. Ha. Rotating those shoulders open. Ha. 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 Pressing away from the earth. Ha. Ha. Okay. Woo. You may notice one side more than the other. My left shoulder has had injury. It doesn't like to do that. Or it likes it because it actually feels good. Helps it. But it's not as good at it. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay, so we come back to all fours. Again, you're gonna keep that same upper body stability right nice strong arms eyes the elbows forward we're stepping our feet back we're going to come into chaturanga moving into vashisasana okay nice deep breath in exhale step both feet back we're going to rotate coming onto this left arm stacking the feet on top of one another <sighs> If you can, we're going to rotate towards the back. If you can't go backwards, you can go forward. We're going to go backwards. Bringing that. And if you can from here, we're going to switch to the opposite side. Hold it for a couple of breaths, and then we're going to rotate back. One more time. Ah, nice strong arms. And back to center. Back into Chaturanga. Take a moment to rest here. All right. <coughs> I do want to do, technically I'm out of time, but I do want to do one more thing, one more thing before Shavasana and then you guys can drift off in Shavasana onto your, on your own. So you come to the back. I'm gonna to have to move to the end of my mat due to spacing for myself. <sighs> Feet are planted, shoulders are back, ribs are up and in. We're going to come into a shoulder stand. All right. So you're pulling those elbows in and towards the body. We're going to flick our legs up and then support ourselves with our hands here. Okay. Pulling the knees up and in. Up. All right. So you're going to begin to. Walk those elbows in and walk the hands up the back. Really tuck that chin. Huh. Huh. Tuck that chin. Huh. Huh. Walking the hands as far up the back as you can, supporting yourself. Huh. Huh. 
Huh. Huh. You can have some free movement here, moving the legs, whatever feels good. You want to just stay still, stay still. You're going to go just a bit further. You can drop the toes down towards the earth, overhead, coming into plow. Reach and extend the arms along the earth. <sighs> and as that ends for you, just rolling, rolling out. <sighs> oh. And from here, you can just drop into Shavasana. Just allow yourself to sink in. Feel those ribs able to expand the lungs. Oh, I can take deeper breaths. Ha. Oh. The shoulders are free. Oh, and I'm just sinking into the earth. Super grateful. Oh, feeling the love. Feeling the expansiveness. Oh, more freedom to express the heart to the self and to each other. And as you just sink in, allowing the earth to support you. Just give me just a moment. Give a sound as you drift off or quiet in this.
hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you get some sunshine because it's lovely out here. And I thank you for joining me. Namaste. Talk to you soon.